away. There's the light for the Group 1 Canterbury Stakes. Ready to run. Racing. Espiano have flopped out of the gates last. Malkovich began very fast, as did Cold Crusher on the outside. Malkovich leads a half to Cold Crusher. Bandersnatch goes to third from Pericles. Lady Laguna, think about it. Espiano down on the fence last of all. Malkovich at a controlled speed at the 1,000. Only a half length in front of Cole Crusher, who's getting closer on the outside. Three off to Bandersnatch on the outside of Pericles. Then came Lady Laguna. And the two favourites back last. Espiano on the insider, think about it. So it's Malkovich just in front of Cole Crusher. Only a head between them at the 700. Still two or three lengths away to uh, Bandersnatch. Snatch and now think about it. Clipperton puts him into the race. Think about it goes to a clear third. Espiano still sits back last. Malkovich leads around the turn. Cole Crusher revved up. Think about it third. Followed by Pericles. Lady Laguna getting to the outside. Now Espiano. She's three behind. Think about it. At the 300. Malkovich trying to cling on. It's Malkovich from Cole Crusher. Think about it. Lady Laguna and Espiano with the last shot at them. Lady Laguna hits the lead. Lady Laguna got a length in front of Think about it and Espiona and Lady Laguna causes an upset in the Canterbury Stakes. Lady Laguna by a length and a half. Photo second, think about it, and Espiona. Pericles fourth in front of Cole Crusher, then Bandersnatch and Malkovich. Lady Laguna, Tyler Schiller and Annabelle Neesham have won the Group 1. What a preparation she's having. What a terrific preparation. She was touched off by Zoo Gotcha last time in the Millie Fox Stakes, but she'd won three in a row prior to that really raising the bar, and Lady Laguna went up on the outside to think about it, and then Espiona laying in, as she loves to do, uh, under pressure here in Sydney, and Lady Laguna going out at $12 has been able